subcutaneous volumetric adipose filling and intradermal regenerative adipose filling for the treatment of wrinkles and aged skin. The lobular fat used in adipose filling is preferably aspirated through a 4 mm diameter cannula. Local anesthesia uses a modified Klein solution, mepivacaine and epinephrine in a lactate ringer solution. Liposuction is rapid. The lipoaspirate is washed with lactate ringer in a flask equipped with a tap until the washing liquid becomes clear. Washing minimizes any residual anesthetic and epinephrine and any traces of blood. The washed lipoaspirate is poured into a beaker. A quantity of lactate ringer solution equal to a third of the lipoaspirate is added. The lobules of aspirated fat. The presence of the ringer solution enables the aspiration vortex created by the adipopima to fragment the lobular fat without damaging the biological material. The adipopima is immersed into the washed lipoaspirate and then switched on. The aspiration vortex fragments the lobules. In a few seconds the lobules are reduced to tiny fragments of adipose tissue which take root more easily. About a third of this fragmented lipoaspirate is poured into the second beaker. On the glass wall of the beaker we can see fragments of the lipoaspirated lobules which will be injected into the subcutaneous tissues in order to carry out volumetric adipose filling. This already fragmented material in the second beaker is now fragmented further by means of the adipopima in order to create a suspension of living adipose and stromal cells which has a mainly regenerative function. On tilting the beaker, a uniform transparent layer of single cells appears. Two suspensions have been prepared from the lobular fat. One containing fragments of adipose tissue, the other containing single cells. The operator now prepares four 20 milliliter syringes equipped with stoppers. The two syringes into which the suspension of single cells is to be poured are marked with a Steri-Strip. The volumetric suspension will be poured into the other two syringes, which are unmarked. All four syringes are centrifuged at 400 RPM for four minutes, 17 RCF. After centrifugation, the ringer solution remains at the bottom of the syringe. Immediately above this, we see the layer of stromal cells, and then the heavier adipocytes. The lighter adipocytes are visible above these. Finally, at the top, a thin layer of oil forms. This shows that the procedure has not damaged the adipocytes. With the aid of a finger, the operator eliminates the lactate ringer solution, taking care not to allow the stromal cells to escape. These cells include the stem cells. The suspension of living adipose and stromal cells is expelled into a beaker by pressing the plunger of the syringe. The thin layer of oil about half a millimeter, remains in the syringe.
The operator then shakes the beaker to redistribute the stromal cells throughout the suspension. When the two components of the adipose tissue are both uniformly distributed in the suspension, greater efficacy is achieved. The cell suspension is now transferred to a 20 ml syringe. By means of a connecting tube, 1 ml Lure Lock syringes are filled. The suspension of single cells can be injected into the subcutaneous tissues of the most delicate areas or into the dermis and exerts a powerful, exclusively regenerative action. Alternatively, it can be added to the volumetric suspension of tiny fragments of adipose tissue in order to enhance rooting. The lactate ringer solution is now removed from the two syringes containing the volumetric suspension. The suspension is shaken in the beaker and then poured into a 20 ml syringe. From here, it is transferred to small syringes. The volumetric suspension is now injected into the temporal fossae and the forehead in order to make it more convex. Injection is carried out through a 21G cannula. Although the forehead and the temporal regions are of great aesthetic importance, they are often neglected. Adipofilling filling can reduce or eliminate wrinkles, make the forehead convex and correct the irregularities of the frontal bones that are manifested over the years as the skin becomes thinner. Filling the temporal fossae eliminates the emaciated appearance that is typical of the elderly face. It also enhances the shape of the eyes and tends to exert a lifting effect on the cheeks and neck. This lifting effect is more marked if adipofilling filling is also performed in the more lateral regions of the face. The regenerative solution of living adipose and stromal cells is injected intradermally into neck wrinkles and even into large areas where the skin is aged or damaged by exposure to the sun. Intradermal cellular adipofilling can be used to rejuvenate the glabella, the lips and the areas around the mouth, and on the body stretch marks and deteriorated skin on the arms. All facial and bodily scars can be improved by means of intradermal cellular adipofilling. In extensive areas, barrier anesthesia can be carried out with an anesthetic solution. After 20 days, the result of intradermal regenerative adipofilling of the neck is clearly visible. This result is stable over time. Our innovative research has enabled wrinkles to be eliminated and aged skin to be made youthful once again. To access this material you must subscribe to the crpub.org medical video journal. Subscription is free and reserved for medical doctors only.